Okay, so the wallpaper in a room, what you're gonna do is make sure that when you're doing it, you're cutting around the corners with the wallpaper. See how I have it in the corner? That'll allow you not to see the wood seam. And again, when you have little pieces like this, you wanna trace it and notch it out. Okay, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do step by step. Let me set this up right. Okay, the very first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some Mod Podge matte finish. It needs to be matte because if you use gloss or semi-gloss, it's gonna shine and then it's gonna show on your wallpaper. Okay, so the very first step you're gonna do is you're gonna get a soft brush and you're gonna dip it in here and then you are gonna paint it all over the entire wall. You need to do this quickly because this does dry rather fast. Okay, so once you have it all covered with the glue from the Mod Podge, you're gonna have your piece of paper and you're gonna fit it in there. Just on the seam, okay? Then you're gonna take your handy little card and you're gonna press it down in there real good. Make sure you get it good and tight in that corner because that's what's going to peel first if it peels. Then you're going to press it up firmly, not too harsh, but not too gentle either. So you want to make sure you're getting the entire piece of paper covered. Okay? Continue that. If you see through your windows where you might not have enough one there, just go around the back side and add some to it. Okay. Once you get this done, then you wanna go back to the front side where you have it. And you wanna to continue to work those bubbles out. Continue along this. Hold it firmly so that you get it good on those windows and make sure you support your window beams. You also want to wallpaper long before you put any windows or trim up because otherwise it will just be really difficult. cases you're gonna have to pre-cut the window out. You really want to avoid doing this if at all possible because it's a lot harder to cut when it's wet and it will tear as opposed to cut. Okay however sometimes some of those bubbles don't want to work out because of the way the wallpaper is positioned so you don't really have a choice. bubbles out just like that so now they have somewhere to go and then I'll come back and trim up this excess later but when it dries that's what you're gonna do and that's about it right, thanks a lot don't forget to follow my Facebook page on miniature dollhouse madness talk to you later